coverage of the women's three-star aerials held here at the Deer Valley Resort. Here's the officially licensed game of this year's Winter Olympics. Six winter events are faithfully recreated and available through four different modes of play, including Olympic mode, where grabbing yourself a gold medal in each discipline presents quite a challenge when competing at a higher end for difficulty settings. The British skier is next to go, and look at the lead he's built up! Each event presents a different but rather simplistic technique to be mastered. In downhill skiing, you do nothing stage, more than steer left and right and tuck yourself in for the occasional tight turn. The bobsleigh begins with a bit of traditional track and field style button bashing. They've managed to get a smooth, clean start to their run. Let's see if they can capitalise on it. Before leaving you to steer your sleigh through each suicidal bend at breakneck speeds. Meanwhile, in the freestyle skiing areas, you choose which gravity defying manoeuvre you're going to pull off through a series of button matching tests. Very much like the figure skating in the ESPN International Winter Sports. Oh, great start! The terrain has been precision modelled from satellite imagery to make it accurate to within two feet of the real thing, helping to transform events like the giant slalom, where it's all about getting into a rhythm and knowing where to sacrifice speed for a sharp turn in order to make it through all of the gates. Let's have a look at the British jumper. Let's see what he can do. Couple this with the impressive motion capture animations for each event, and you've got all the realism you could possibly ask for. And that's a fair lift off. That was classy. Good landing, good distance. You like that? The opening ceremony is about to begin. Yes, Stuart, we rarely know what to expect from these ceremonies, as over the years there have been some real surprises, but we know it will be entertaining and really raise expectation for sales. Salt Lake City 2002 provides an accurate representation of the six Winter Olympic events, but it could really do with more events.